Thanksgiving, everybody. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Uh, today's cook will be a smoked ham, right? Today I will show you how I inject my ham, um, what I use in it. Um, I use various methods, or uh, different flavors rather, not methods. Same thing, injecting. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no one different way to uh, inject the ham um, that will make it right or wrong, as long as you inject all the, all the decent body parts. Um, but yeah. We're gonna go in this kitchen, man. We're gonna pull, pull out this ham that's been thawed out. Uh, it's been sitting in the refrigerator chilling. It's ready to go, man. So stick with me, man. We're gonna go do the thing, man. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Hope you're enjoying your day and uh, doing the same thing I'm doing. See you in a minute in the kitchen. Peace. All right, YouTube, we back. As you can see, I have a turkey, a uh, seven pound turkey. Using my famous Cajun injection honey bacon barbecue. Get that from uh, Garandon Mountain. Try it, man. It's the bomb. And obviously, the Cajun injection needle. All right. Easy day. So, all I'm going to do, I'll be back in a minute. All I'm going to do is take this out, out of the wrapping, stick it in a bowl, and just inject it. No other seasoning whatsoever. Uh, once the ham gets to a certain level, and I'll talk about that later. We'll use some pineapples on it to dress it up, whatnot, make it look good. Use some pineapple juice in the bottom, whatnot. But that'll be later on. So I'll be back in a minute once I uh, take this out and stick it in the bowl. All right, you two, we back. And uh, injection is simple, all right? Just take the top off, obviously. Uh, clean this. You definitely want to clean your uh, injector. And you really just simple man you just do it like somebody that's about to uh take your blood man. i know you've seen that and you just stick it in inject it in the cavity i just inject until i see it squirting out of somewhere if not it'll go to full dosage there you go i just do that throughout throughout the turkey so here's a note when you inject the turkey, people say don't put a lot of holes in it. So I'm going to show you what a lot of people recommend. They recommend you inject like this. You know, pull it out a little bit, do a different angle. Reason, reason for that? Woo! Wow. All right. Got to clean that up real quick before the wife come here and uh, get me. But uh, the reason for that is uh, they don't want a lot of holes in it because when you're cooking your meat, you want whatever your injection is to stay in the meat. However, if you take a piece of meat and put it in the refrigerator, guess what happened to them holes? Them pores close up, right? Kind of like taking a cold shower, pores close up, take a hot shower, pores open up, same thing with meat. The protein in, in the meat is what absorbs all of the uh, your injection or whatever you uh, put in it. So just keep that in mind. So I'm not gonna have you sit here and watch me inject the whole thing. I see you at the grill when you're in there. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. B. And my temp is ooh, about 325 on my Smoky Mountain Weber. I'm about to put this ham on here for Thanksgiving. So, I'm going to take it out of this. Look at the injection just dripping. Just sit it right on top. Easy day, like clockwork. Put it back on. I'm gonna go from now. See y'all in about two hours when I uh, put it in the aluminum foil and put the uh, pineapples on it. Peace. All right, YouTube, we back. Uh, gotta go ahead and take this ham and transfer him to uh, a pan and show you what I do next. Them about safety, man. These damn food is hot. You don't think 225 is uh, hot until you get 225 on your hand. You see that? Look at that. Look at succulent. Small pan, small aluminum pans fit perfectly on the 18 and a half inch uh, Smoky Mountain Weber. Uh, if you think about getting one of those or whatnot. Like I said, this is about a seven pound ham. Uh, got my handy dandy pineapple. 
juice on the bottom. I'm gonna just dump them off and then take my toothpicks. And use them to uh, stick directly on the meat somewhere. Simple as that. Pretty easy. It's more decorated than anything. I don't really eat the pineapple. So, can I rapid rewards points at any time? That's it for that. Uh, I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back. Got some uh, Seven Up to go in the pan, right? To make me a kind of like a lather or whatnot. I don't want to put too much. Just enough to uh, keep the bottom uh, bottom moist enough, so you don't have to keep taking the top off. And then I'm just gonna wrap it. Easy day. Trust me. You'll thank me, or you won't thank me. But your family will thank you when it's uh, time to eat. Now hurry up, because it's hot, like I said. It's the beauty of these uh, Smoky Mountain Weavers, man, they'll go for 24 hours. If you not manage that fire, or you position your charcoal, uh, using the minion method, these, these things will cook for 24 hours at the same tip, man. It's like an oven, it's like cheese. So one more piece on there, and then uh, I'll see you back. We'll show you the done product. What's up, YouTube? It's the time to go and show y'all what this turkey look like. I mean, this ham. I'm thinking about eating some turkey. As you see my fry over there, going. Thanks for giving peace over here. Yes, sir. Uh, show you what it look like. Remember, there was seven up with pineapples on it. Make it extra tender. All I do is pour it off at the end, and let everybody go for what they know. Let's uh, give y'all a close up of how we doing it around right here. Yeah, there we go. Anyway. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. From your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Enjoy.